Hi, I'm Bree, owner of Simply Bree's Floral, and today I'm going to show you how to make an underwater rose arrangement in a vase. All right, we're going to start with our cylinder with just a little bit of these acrylic rocks. You can get these just about anywhere, any florist wholesale or supply place will have them. You can also use clear or marbles, river rocks, just about anything to kind of create a base to kind of help hide and disguise some of the stems that are going to be showing. And we're going to be using curly willow as a frog start just to kind of help hold our form and hold our roses in place. We're going to strip any leaves off of the sticks just to ensure that they're nice and clean. And we are going to separate any thick stems. You want basically the stuff that is really flexible and fresh. Definitely want fresh. And we're just going to stick this in here, just bind it up in any kind of crazy fashion. It will unroll just a bit once you get it into the vase. And you will kind of want some of it to come up into the upper area up at the top. So once we've got our curly willow down in there and in a nice position to kind of help hold your flowers in place, we're going to start by adding just a few roses. I prefer to use the most open at the base. And we're going to cut those stems really short and remove any greenery that is going to be in the water. And you may need to cut, recut, check, just to ensure that you're getting the proper length on your roses. And kind of give them a little shift just to kind of help break out some of those air bubbles that are between the petals. And we're just going to make an all around placement of these heads to kind of cover the base of this arrangement. And we're starting out with minimal water just so we can get our hands down inside and we're not up to our elbows and wet stuff. Clip that just a little shorter. And depending upon your size of your vase, you may need more or less roses. This one here, it looks like three to four might do it just to give me a nice full red look at the base. Just kind of tilt them to the outer edge so you can kind of see them. You can even open them up just a little bit. And a nice trick I like to use to opening is either you can use your finger just to gently massage the petals open or just a little bit of puff into the middle helps give you a nice open look. And of course you can move the curly willow, bend it to whichever direction you may need it to sit to allow for the coverage of roses. So now that we've got our red roses at the base there, I'm going to go ahead and even add in some of this green dianthus. It does not bloom. It mimics a really beautiful mood moss. We're going to go ahead and tuck that kind of into the center and we're going to use that as a small frog to help hold our upright roses. I'm going to go ahead and use a measurement of alongside the vase just to make sure that I'm leaving that room for those candles. The green dianthus at the base will also help keep these roses in place once we fill the vase with water. We're going to do these kind of in a nice layered look. So we'll have the red roses at the base. And here, if you're not quite at the same level, it's okay. Not everything in nature is right on perfect. So it looks a little more natural when you leave things just a little bit askew. Once again, we're using our vase as a guide. And once we're finished with that, and fill the arrangement. And it helps too to kind of just pour the water into the roses themselves, allow those petals to fill with water. That way you have no air bubbles, which will actually allow your roses to rise and they won't stay in place. And we have just completed our beautiful underwater rose arrangement. To learn more or get any more ideas, you can certainly check me out on my website at simplybreezefloral.com or look us up on Facebook.